So I want to talk about a problem and uh, solving it with uh, two different coordinate systems. Um, the problem is, is at the bottom. Um, this is uh, one of the assigned ones for Mastering Physics this, this past week. Imagine that you have a plane that drops a package um, when directly over a dog. So I'm going to represent the dog in each one of my two coordinate systems as a black dot. Um, the plane is a thousand meters above the dog and has a velocity of a hundred meters per second inclined upwards at 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. And the question is how far ahead of the dog does the package land? So I'm going to do this with two coordinate systems. Um, one shown on the upwards left and one shown on the upward right. So let's first of all talk about this upward um, left coordinate system. And so for this coordinate system I've decided to um, put my um, x-axis along the ground and have my y-axis go from the ground um, and where the dog is, that's the black dot, directly up to the plane. And so in, that, in this coordinate system y0 is equal to 1000 meters. Gravity is minus 10 meters per second per second. And when I find my two um, x-coordinate uh, x component and y component uh, um, of of the, of the uh, velocity, v um, uh, v y naught is 100 meters per second times the sine of 30, which is 50 meters per second, and um, v x naught is equal to 100 meters per second times cosine 30, which is 86.6 meters per second per second. Gravity is pointing in the negative direction, so gravity is um, minus 10 meters per second per second, using easy light, uh, easy numbers here. So um, if t is the flight time, then t will be determined by this equation. And uh, that will be the, um, when it hits the ground um, with this coordinate system, y will be 0. And that's going to be equal to y naught, which is a thousand meters in this coordinate system plus 50 meters per second times t seconds plus one half times minus 10 meters per second per second times t seconds. So in other words it's going to be um, if I uh, bring everything over to the other um, the uh, left side of the equal sign 5t squared minus 50t minus 1000 dividing through by 5 t squared minus 10t minus 200 is equal to 0 and so the quadratic equation gives me this um, note that there's two negative signs here, and so under the square root, I get the square root of 900, which is, in other words, 10 plus or minus 30 divided by 2. So I get two roots, 5 plus or minus 15, which is going to be either 20 or minus 10 seconds. Uh, the minus 10 um, doesn't fit this problem, so I'm going to take the 20 second um, flight time, and that means that the range of the package, which is um, what they're really asking for here, is the um, x velocity while it's in flight 86.6 meters per second times 20 seconds which is 1732. Okay, um, one could also however um, put the coordinate system as um, sketched in this um, right word um, coordinate system and in this case I have the coordinate system, um, the y coordinate system starts at the plane and goes directly down to the dog and so now the downward direction is is positive. Um, the um, x-axis is still pointing to the right. So in this scenario the initial y velocity is minus 50 meters per second since it's pointing in the minus y direction in this coordinate system and the x direction is still pointing in the positive x direction so that's 86.6 gravity is now pointing in the positive direction so that's now 10 meters per second per second. So if I write the equivalent equation um, the ending position is now 1000 meters. From here to here is a plus 1000 um, displacement. Um, and the starting y naught is 0 meters um, minus 50 meters per second times t seconds um, plus one half times 10 meters per second times t second squared and so um, that will translate into 5t squared minus 50t minus 1000 equals t dividing through by 5 I get t squared minus 10t minus 200 is equal to 0 which is the same equation as I have over here and so it's going to have the same solutions 
um, again I'm going to choose 20 seconds and I'm going to get that range and so the lesson here is that your um, whatever coordinate system you choose um, with correct assignations of sign and interpretations um, of why not um, and other quantities um, you will get the same solution and so um, it's good to um, at least in the beginning to work it out and uh, a problem out in several different coordinate systems just so you get used to this idea